G'day Australia, Kia Ora, New Zealand. Jimmy's old time radio show coming to you from Canada, your distant cousin. And uh, we have some connections and you've been very warming and welcoming as I've made my first shout outs to my friends on the other side of the planet. I've put together Australia and New Zealand into one video because I know you have strong connections, your Tasman connections, strong allies and supporters of one another and just given that you're in the same quadrant of this globe I thought I may as well group you together. I've recently been networking internationally. For years I've worked across Canada but with all the time I've had on my hands given to the COVID shutdown I've been uh, networking all around the world. I've been warmly welcomed by some friends overseas particularly in in New Zealand. Let me see what the word is here. Manakatanga and I've been doing some research that, that the uh, culture of welcoming is deeply embedded in New Zealand. And you know, everywhere I go I meet friendly people. So it's, it's really nice to connect with you folks. My business as an entertainer has been crushed with COVID. Even though here in Canada we've done really well suppressing the virus, it's still impossible for me to go from home to home to home the way I used to. I've picked up a few outside shows because uh, it's summer here in Canada. but. Uh, Really, I've lost 96% of my work. I have a connection to your part of the world. When my dad was a young man, he learned English in Melbourne, Australia. He went uh, from Europe to, uh, to Australia to, to work. He worked in a candy factory and uh, he lived there for three years. He used to talk in his Aussie accent and uh, yeah, he really loved that time. And when, when my mom and dad left Europe, they almost went to Australia. I have friends and family in Australia, some, some friends particularly in Coffs Harbour. They're more like family. I've known them literally since the day I was born. I'd love to go to Coffs Harbour and do a full tour of Australia and then skip across, spend some time in New Zealand. I suppose the biggest challenge is, uh, I know in New Zealand you drive on the left. Uh, I'm not sure about Australia, but uh, driving on the left is new to me because here in Canada we drive on the right. And I find they really frown upon you practicing driving on the left here. As I've been researching Australia and New Zealand, one of the things I found fascinating how what we call just recreation therapy here, you call diversional and recreation therapy. And I really like that term diversional because to me that's the crux of what I try to do. I try to give recreation managers a means to help entertain their residents and it is truly a diversion, a way to pass the day. Orcadia Tomeo or Tara, pardon me for mispronunciation, Arcadia. You've been fantastic. I really appreciate the way you've uh, welcomed me. I'm looking forward to doing a Zoom meeting with your members. My channel is devoted to entertaining seniors and also connecting to the managers. I have it divided into three playlists right now. Uh, first playlist is called Residence, where all my concerts and documentaries are. Typically the concerts and documentaries are an hour long or close to it so that you can stream you know, one item and have a, a reasonable program for your residents. But there are some shorter ones there as well. Some of the documentaries are from trips around Canada, so you might find that interesting. Then another playlist is called Trailers, where I've, recently I've been doing short one minute trailers of some of the concerts I've done this summer. Theoretically, you can stream the trailers consecutively and make a quick choice about which movie you want to show. And then one other playlist is called Managers, where I have hopefully informative videos where I talk to you about things I've learned. Like my most recent video was called 10 Shows Worth of Lessons, where uh, see this summer I've just played 10 outside concerts so far. And uh, this is all kind of new here as we're shut down, not able to go and play concerts inside. So we're, there's a lot of learning here, a lot of steep learning curve. And so I just wanted to share some of the things I've learned. Anyway, just a brief introduction. Kia kaha to my friends in New Zealand and all the best to my friends in Australia as well. We will be in touch. I'm going to be doing a big international networking blitz through this fall and winter here. I know it'll be spring and summer for you. So stay healthy, my friends, and all the best to you.